didn't know what engineering was until I got really to my junior and senior year of high school. Uh, when I was little, my parents used to say, oh, she's going to be an engineer, and I thought, but I don't want to drive a train. I love my job. <laughs> it's, my job is so much fun, and the people that I work with really make it. And I don't know, it's like every day is just different. Here in Charleston, I work on a welfare project for Deloitte Consulting. We've pretty much custom de developed their whole welfare system. We've developed all the programs, all the screens, uh, the whole application process for uh, welfare recipients. As an industrial engineer on this job, it's not so much traditional uh, factory industry work. You can see there's really no factory here. It is a lot of problem solving, a lot of uh, data gathering, um, and just a lot of management skills. What my job is to kind of orchestrate the, the problem solving at this point. So I love the traveling. Um, being a consultant, I'm definitely on the road a lot. Um, it's really kind of my time during my week to decompress. I think industrial engineering would fit someone's personality if, if they're willing to learn, if they're willing to have fun with what they do. We are not creating gears or sprockets that you may in a manufacturing plant. We are creating business processes. Um, we are the people engineering, if you will. It's fun, baby. Hi, how are you all today? Hi, how are you? Great. You do not work in a lab uh, in industrial engineering. You are working in a team of people. Your job is, is analyzing data, finding out what's the best way of, of, of doing things, and then presenting the results to the management who will be ultimately the ones making the decisions. What's really fun about working with industrial engineering within Walt Disney World is that you get to do so many different things. So as an industrial engineer, what I look at is efficiencies as far as the water slides go. So if I can make it run more efficiently and get more guests on, then I've done my job. We looked at just about every ride out, out of the water parks, both here at Blizzard Beach and at Typhoon Lagoon, and we did intensive data collection. We looked at guest satisfaction areas. So you have to look at the entire system, break it down into components, and then see how you can make each component more efficient to make that whole system more efficient. Getting ready to do an effort called attraction utilization, and that's basically, uh, in a roundabout way, it says making the line shorter. We partnered with the research department to collect surveys. We analyze those surveys and we determine the guest tendencies. We want them to get through as fast as possible, but we want them to see every little piece that they can see of the ride or the attraction. Part of my consulting here, we, we use a simulation package called Arena. And it is a software package that allows us to make a computer model, a simulation of any type of system, anything from an airline to a restaurant to a steel mill. Uh, and part of my job is to go into these different companies, that, no matter what it is, and go in and assess their problems and come out with an idea of, of what type of simulation we're going to make. How do we accurately represent their true system with a computer model? I was always curious in, to find out how things worked. And anybody that has that kind of uh, questioning mind, I think, would enjoy engineering. I look at engineering as being problem solving, um, using mathematical tools or any kind of sci scientific tools and applying that to solving problems. And really, that's what uh, industrial engineering is to me, is, is making, taking, taking a process, taking anything, and, and making it work better.
UPS is huge. We're worldwide. We're in everywhere. I mean, everywhere that someone lives, you can get a package delivered to them. You interact with so many different people. You know how to talk to drivers about production and stops and their day-to-day -day activity. But you also talk to people on the inside of the buildings. You talk to preloaders and local sorters. So you learn how to communicate with them as well. I like the interaction with the people the most. I like that when you're working with a center manager, they respect and value what you have to say, and you're helping them to better their operation. Industrial engineering was cross-functional. It was kind of like, here's what we're going to teach you in college. This is industrial engineering by our program, but you can go out and apply it to almost anything. There's some type of consistency from day to day, but when I come to work, something may happen that day that I have not expected. And every day is a challenge. Every day I've accomplished something. I've made a difference in the company. So you have to learn how to communicate at many different levels. It's a team effort here. Hershey is roughly 14,000 employees. We have, uh, I believe it's 18 manufacturing facilities, uh, several different corporate buildings, and this beautiful uh, chocolate world, which is our uh, uh, customer or our uh, visitor center. The industrial engineering department is approximately 25 people uh, that have industrial engineering backgrounds and we've actually expanded our area and, and included several other change management folks that are the num number about 12. A lot of times you're put into a leadership position where you're almost like the project manager before a project is approved. We're the ones, we're usually the focal point, we usually have to gather all the information and present it to management in a way so that they can make decisions. Uh, we just recently introduced uh, a new line of product that actually isn't a new product, but a new way of packaging our product. We realize that our consumers always are looking for something a little different. So I've spent the last, say, six months working on this project to develop a new packaging for our existing products. The engineering is in the technical background physics and, and calculus, we have all those courses as well. And I would say that we have that background, but we also have the understanding of how it relates to people and processes and business situations. It's fun, <laughs> um, to put it in a few words. It's, you know, it's different. It's, it's not like any of the other engineering professions. You're not just sitting at a desk all day. You're, you're communicating with people constantly. You're a big part of decision making.